That blocks that commands all other blocks. It's the tyrannical block. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Help support Twit with your Amazon purchases. Visit twit.tv slash Amazon, click on the Amazon banner, and shop as usual. That's twit.tv slash Amazon, and we thank you for your support. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today we're answering an email. This email comes from Jaren Durkee. Dear Chad, I don't understand the command blocks. Can you please help me? Thanks. This is a pretty simple question to answer, but it gets very complicated very fast. Command blocks are the blocks that allow you to, to submit server queries and make server commands. So let's just jump right into it. Yep. So here we are in a super flat world. And the first thing, if you want to get into com command blocks, is you need a command block. You open up your creative inventory and you search around where the heck is it? You can look through all the blocks and there is not a command block. If you look for command block, this doesn't exist. The only way that you can get to a command block is to use a server command. So you just sl do slash give and then the player. So this would be OMG Chad in my case. And then you can type out either uh, the code, which is 137, or you can do Minecraft colon command uh, underscore block. Okay, we're, I'm just tabbing through to get to command block. And then you will be given one. If you want to have more for some reason, you can do that same command and then add a number at the end so that you'll uh, get more in your inventory. So I just got 25 more, so now I have a total of 26. When you place it in the world, it just looks like this. You've probably seen these before. And in order to get at the contents of a command block, you just right click it. And then you can see a few things. It does give you some nice hints, which we're going to cover here, what some basic commands are. And this will send commands to the server console. That's what a command block does. So just to do something very simple, we'll do slash say, which allows the server to say something to the world. And we're just going to say, hello, world, just like that. Now, how are we going to, and it says in my chat, command set, hello world. Now, that should not show up in the world chat if you had other members on this server or in this game. Uh, they would not see that. That's only to you. Now, how do we set this block off? Well, command blocks work off of redstone. So a very simple way is to grab a button or a lever or a switch, and that's what we're going to do right now. We'll just throw a button on the side by holding down shift. If I didn't hold down shift, I'd enter into this uh, GUI again. So I don't want to do that. I'll hold down shift and put a button on it. And then I can push the button, and sure enough, the server says, hello world. Now, there's lots of things. You can basically use all the commands that are available to you uh, through your normal commands. And there's a great, there's so many commands that you can use. There's a great Wikipedia article at uh, the wiki slash commands. But let me just show off a few other arguments that you can add to these blocks. And they're right here uh, for kind of a cheat sheet of what you want. Uh, you can use at p for all, uh, for the nearest player. So let's say I want to give uh, the nearest player, which would be me in, the, in, this, um, in this case. And let's give myself uh, something pretty simple, the record 13. So this is Minecraft colon record 13. And I'll give myself, how about four of those? Or the nearest player, it's not just myself. So when I push the button, it gives me four records that are 14. And, it, and I'm an op on this server, so it tells me what just happened. Uh, the only way that you can access these command blocks is if you are an op on the server, an op level of at least two or more. The default is four. Now, these are impossible to access if you are in survival mode. So if I switch my game mode to, let's say, zero, now I'm in normal survival mode. I can't. I'm right-clicking right now, and it is not allowing me to enter into this command block. I need to be in a higher uh, game mode, like game mode one, for me to enter into this. Another nice feature of the command block is it does show you the previous output that it just uh, did. I can clear that if I wanted. Um, and so that is the previous output. This also really helps if you're in here editing multiple things, trying to fix bugs to find out why did one command block do something else. Uh, and that's what this previous output will do. The other options uh, for the at symbol, which we were showing off, is at R for a random player, any random player that's logged onto the server, at A for all players, 
and then at E, and those are entities, and you can determine which entities uh, you want uh, with other uh, sort of arguments after that string. Yep. Now, in order to use command blocks, you must, of course, have command blocks set to true on your server properties. Otherwise, these bad boys won't work. Some other things that you can do with command blocks are teleport players from one place to another, give players items, which I showed off. You can also set the weather, which is kind of a really nice way. Just put a button on a command block that changes the weather back to clear. Hit it whenever it starts to rain, that's kind of nice. Uh, and of course, speak, and you can also set spawn points of players as well. And also, of course, scoreboards. Command blocks are perfect for scoreboards. And the new snapshots that are coming out, there's a lot more features like editing the NBT tags of blocks. So if you want, you can store data within blocks. There's lots and lots once you start getting into command blocks. So if you want to learn more, I would suggest checking out the commands. We did a whole episode on a lot of the commands that you can do in Minecraft that uh, we published a few months back. And then of course, check out the wiki because there's so many we can't even cover it here. But I hope that gets you started using command blocks. You know, there are a lot of people that make OMG Craft happen. So if you want to support us, just click a link and buy some stuff like normal. It's just that easy. All you have to do is click our Amazon banner at twit.tv slash Amazon and shop as you normally do. It costs you nothing and anything you purchase helps keep the lights on here at the Brick House Studios where we shoot OMG Craft. You can also bookmark that page and click through that link every single time you shop at Amazon.com. There are even links to Amazon UK and Canada. Once again, that's twit.tv slash Amazon and we thank you for supporting our show by doing that. Send us some of your feedback at mail at omgcraft.com or subscribe to the show at youtube.com slash omgcraft. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.